All three, by society law, will have equal precedence. We will now begin to elevate, starting with Sir Antonio, moving on to Fraser, and then to Donovan. We, this this uh, selection came by their, their, their current order of precedence. So, per, for Sir Antonio, is there a speaker of the Lady of the Rose who would speak for this candidate? I claim that honor. <laughs> I am Duchess Evelina Keys, and I will speak to Antonio's courtesy. As a Lady of the Rose, I, along with my sisters, look to those people who serve as examples of courtesy, kindness, hospitality. And I say to all of you, you need look no further than Antonio, for he embodies all of that. He is one of the kindest and most courteous and most hospitable people I know. He labors long for our kingdom. He guides with a gentle hand, and he is a fine, fine example. Thank you, Grace. Is there a member of the Order of the Laurel that would speak for this gentleman? <laughs> Mistress of the Laurel have been granted that honor. Your Majesties, I have a very rare opportunity to tell you and this assembled populace why the man I love above all others is worthy of this accolade. I like to believe that I was chosen to be among, among my order, not just for my art, but because of the joy I find in doing and teaching. I seek out that joy in others and I see that in my husband. Antonio exudes joyfulness and shows an unselfish willingness to help others find joy. I see this joy in most everything he does. When he is teaching, you hear that joy when he yells, he yells, yes, hit me again. <laughs> when he is painting, I see the joy in his face when a beautiful, colorful banner comes off the frame, perfect, and he presents it to his recipient. When a new Skadian or young person says to him, how do you do that? I see the joy in him as he teaches often providing people with materials so they can go off and find their own joy. Antonio brings joy into our world, is a giving soul, a kind, loving father and husband. He has long been my peer, and I am proud to see him elevated here today as one of the first three Masters of Defense. Thank you, Your Excellency. Is there a member of the Pelican that would speak for this candidate? Your Majesties, I am Master Malcolm Bowman, and I have that honor this day. There are few I can think of who give the level of service that Sir Antonio has given not only to the rapier community, but to the society at large. And I cannot think of any other whom I could recommend in quite the same way for this particular accolade. I can say nothing further than but Sir Antonio is my peer. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Martin. Is there a member of the Order of the Chivalry that would speak for him? I, Sir Ivan Ivanov, Sin Dmitry Avinuk Zardakov, have that honor. I have known Antonio, I mean Sir Antonio, for many years. I met him after I found out that he was my squire brother. <laughs> oh, I thought he was a fencer. <laughs> They're not mutually exclusive. They're not mutually exclusive. I was there the day he got his OTC. 
at Isis coronation. And I thought, huh, <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> and then he was knighted, and I thought, huh, <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> Sir Antonio. <laughs> I have fought with him by my side for many years. I have crossed blades with him as well. Damn lefties. Don't be redundant, just say lefty. He is a fighter. There have been many times when I looked for him while out fighting, only to find out that he was off fencing when I was bummed. <laughs> but he's a fencer. I stand here today and speak of his virtues, but he is a knight in every sense. Pelican too. Today, we are here on the second day of the 50th year of our society to recognize a new peerage, the first one in years. Such a momentous occasion, and I stand here before you speaking about a man who in my eyes will bring with him the best ideals and values of the order of the chivalry and will continue to guide this new community. He is and always will be a fencer and will now be a peer of them. He is my peer. He is my brother. And I wholeheartedly recommend him to you. Thank you, Excellency. Is there, is there a livery collar? Emma! <laughs> Thank you so much! <laughs> so if you're all interested, this is what livery collar looks like. <laughs> so anybody wearing these is a member of the Order of Defense. <laughs> Queen, <clears throat> charge and command you to always protect this our realm of the East, and further to defend, sustain, and promote the order of defense. So charging and commanding, I cast this gauntlet down. Do not pick up that gauntlet if you do not intend to accept the challenge before you of being a master of defense. Let never the call to defend this East Kingdom go unanswered. Your Majesty, it will be my honor and my privilege. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 